Oh. Welcome to Thanks Academy, the podcast where we watch, you know, all the best picture winners of all time, but we watch them in random order with random friends. I'm Karina. I'm a little tipsy. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of lit right now, and I'm here with my random friend, Zach Brooks. Hello. Also lit. We're lit. <laughs> We're lighting up with some Miller Lite right now. Yep. Drinking. Continuing it. Sponsored by the uh, aluminum can. Mm-hmm. Mm. Love the aluminum can. We might have a pizza show up in the middle of this movie. What are we watching today, Zach? Uh, we're watching Driving Miss Daisy. Oh my god, I've been looking forward to this. It's going to be good. I'm stoked. This is the dumbest Oscar winner. Is that, it really? That I'm aware of in my lifetime. And I know people say Crash, you know. Okay, right. Like, right? But like, this is just a... It's like the battery's not included mm. of Oscar winners. It's just like, it's a movie that's cute and I get why it was made. But how the hell did it win best? Picture, won have you be- seen this movie? Okay, so I, I've seen parts of this movie, but I mainly only know about it from just references. Right. Um, but no, yeah, I would say this would be like my first full viewing. Of- first full view. So, but you know who's in it? Yes. Who's in it? Um, <laughs> Pop quiz. Uh, isn't it just... Uh, actually, the only person I know that's in it is Danny Glover, right? No! Who is it? Oh, my God. It's Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman, that's right. That's all right. I'll come Oh, that. just already getting into some... some <laughs> just already racistly confusing two black actors. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, this movie would have been better with Danny Glover in it. Would it have? Well, for, as far as I know, Danny Glover never got me too That's true. Morgan and Morgan Freeman, Freeman did caught Gations, didn't he? It's pretty hard. Yeah. What, what was Morgan Freeman's Gations? Well, okay, so Morgan Freeman, not only has he been filmed being kind of creepy to female oh, interviewers over weird. the years, like they released outtakes of him, like hitting on. There's a compilation of There's a compilation <laughs> tape of Morgan oh, Freeman no, being a creepy bad. hitter on her, which is uh, creepy hitter on her, I kind of put in the category of gross. Gross. You're not my friend. Yes. But, you, you know. Yeah. You ain't you canceled. Don't, you don't belong in jail. But anything. apparently there's some canceled shit, too. Okay. With Morgan Freeman, which seems more legit because of the creepy compilation. Right, well that makes sense. Yeah, it's kind of like Woody Allen if we hadn't fucking fully 100% proven that Woody Allen was a piece of shit. Yeah, okay, kind of I gotcha. Yeah. 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 Uh, but, he's in it, along with Jessica Tandy. Jessica Tandy ringing any... No, who's okay. Jessica Tandy? Alright, so you're younger. I am younger. Yeah, I'm old. Jessica I mean, I'm not that. I mean, I'm no, no, no. I, it's, I set that up. Okay. To be old. I am old. I'm I mean, old. I'm 28 now, so I'm 40. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. All right. Zach that just settles that. Zach just, <laughs> just fell out of love with me. Okay. So Jessica Tandy is kind of like the George Burns, or like no. Okay. Jessica Tandy was the Betty White. Okay. Of the 80s. Like, gotcha. She's that old chick who was big back in the day, uh-huh. and she's still killing it at age 80, whatever. Okay. Gotcha. And so I think this movie was kind of a love letter to her. Okay. And from what I remember when I watched this when I was like nine or whatever, is that like she's pretty boss in it. Okay. But she's also, spoiler alert, you know, the racist. Right. I in mean, the movie. it seems like she's the one being driven, right? She, she is Miss Tess. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. I mean, that's a whole thing. So we're going to have to watch, you Wait, know, see, Morgan Freeman, known asshole. Known asshole. Unracist. Right. Uh, Jessica Tandy. I don't know if she's an asshole or not, but like, yeah, acting like an asshole. Okay. Yeah. All That's right. That's what we're in for. It's just, so, okay. So the last time you saw this, you were nine. Yes, I've only seen this one time. Okay. So and it was on be... HBO when I was a child. How? Well, let's see how good your memory is when okay. it comes to when it comes to these types of movies. Here's what I think the plot is. Okay. If I remember correctly. All right. Jessica Tandy, wealthy, southern. Sure. Right. Right. Uh plantation type family mm-hmm, still mm-hmm. lives in the family plantation home of course uh steel magnolias type setting yep. right uh-huh. uh needs a driver and yeah. gets a new driver played by morgan freeman okay uh it treats him like uh the old driver in other okay. words like shit right and morgan freeman uh teaches her a lesson teaches her a lesson he gets it yes. he flips the car <laughs> I don't remember how. I was too young to pick up on the subtleties of how. Right. What I remember is that this movie is kind of funny. Okay. Like, there's some funny lines there's or funny moments in some it. Some bits in it. But, spoiler alert, 
Okay. I thought the same thing about Rain Man, which turned out not to be funny. No, it's not that funny. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. It's pretty sad, actually. Same, like, Rain Man was like 87, 88. Uh This is 89. I think what I thought was funny when I was a kid Mm -hmm. was probably just uh, my racism. Right. (laughs) Or just, just your intolerance to slightly handicapped people. That, right. I mean, because with Rayman, yes. Rayman, I guess you could, I could see why people think there's funny parts in Rayman, but at the same time, it's like, this guy's just exploiting his brother. This is very sad. It's very sad. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's what I laughed at in Driving Miss Daisy as well, is I kind of laughed at, from what I remember vaguely, mm-hmm. uh, Jessica Tandy treating Morgan Freeman like shit. Yeah. Which, which is you know, not, I'm not putting this all on me. I thought it was funny, but I also think that's what the world thought, thought was, was funny. funny. Yeah, they're like, this is a good bit. This, <laughs> this, uh, uh, timeless old, old white southern lady t- treating. So, and so in this movie, yeah, Jessica Tandy is older than Morgan Freeman. Oh, very much. Morgan Freeman in this movie is not meant to be an old man. Okay. That's what's I don't weird. think I've ever seen Morgan Freeman in anything where he's not kind of already an old guy. He's not like a young hot thing. He's in that like... Has, uh, was he ever a young hot thing? Good question. I don't know. I'd have to delve into the 1970s cinema and see if Morgan Freeman, you know, even showed up. Like, have we even seen Morgan Freeman shirtless or... <laughs> <laughs> this is... <laughs> This is, what, five years pre-Shawshank? Okay. Okay. All right. So, he's not old. He's not old. He was he, old in Shawshank, really. He's not, like, young buck or anything. Like, no. he's not... Oh, God, I'm sorry. I said young buck. Mm. God damn it. This is why that you was, shouldn't that was a That was a poor choice of words. <laughs> you know what I'm... Spiritually. Yes. He wasn't um, a 20-something hottie Brad Pitt type. He was meant to be, like, an adult. Right. From what I remember. Gotcha. But uh, he's not old. Okay. Here's what's weird. Okay. I haven't seen Green Book. Have you seen Green Book? I haven't seen Green Book either. Green Book just won Best Picture. Okay. From what I understand, Green Book is a movie about an old white man played by Viggo Mortensen. Okay. Driving a young black man played by Marshall Ali. So it's reverse driving. Through the South. Yeah, it's reverse driving with Stacey. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, like, we're literally 30 years later. This was oh. 1989. It's 2019. I just love that they're, like, doing, like... The or, same movie. Yeah, just one Where they're Academy just like, Award. well, let's just flip the characters in all of them. Yeah. Yeah. It's the, Green Book seems to me to be, like, the equivalent of the female reboot of Ghostbusters. Gotcha. They're like, let's just put men in it. Yeah. And then how, flip the races. Yeah. How about... <laughs> how about it's time that... Yeah. Some black people get driven around. That's right. And they sit in the back seat. Driving Mr. Marigold or whatever. Yes, driving... I hope that wasn't racist. Is a marigold a no. black flower? I don't think so. It's a yellow flower? Maybe. Yeah, I think marigold's a yellow flower. I should so not it's a, a, So this. it's an Asian... <laughs> no, it's a... Yeah, it's a reverse... It's... I don't know. I think the plot is that you, it was dangerous to drive through the South at that time, right? In Green Book. Right. You, like, as a black man. You oh, would, okay. So it takes couldn't place eat in the same time? Yes. But it was, like, 1950s, 1960s. Like, you couldn't eat in every diner. You right. couldn't stop Beat at every driving, gas station. Yeah. So you'd have to have a chauffeur or a so-called Green Book to tell you where it was safe to go. This is the flip of that, where it was perfectly fine to have a black chauffeur. Yes. In the 19... I think it was also... I think this takes place in the 60s as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but we see some of the problems. That arise? That's the part I did. I was nine. Okay. I'll be honest. I All don't right. know what Morgan Freeman went through in this movie other than Jessica Tandy making fun of him. So they... I'm curious to see if they how it ends. If they get a long by the end of it or... Fuck. Yeah, do they fuck in the back of the car? Don't remember. <laughs> it was since... <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I'd love to see Morgan Freeman fucking in a chauffeur's hat, but that's just me, you know? I'm with you. I actually... I wasn't with you, but then you said in a chauffeur's Mm -hmm. hat. That's what... Only the hat on is what kicks it. No, he's like... He's a hat on kind of guy. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you think about it, he's got a very distinguished face, but not a very distinguished, you know, cranium. No, he doesn't. Put a hat on it. Put a hat on it. Yeah, Mm -hmm. he's kind of got... What I can remember, he uh, doesn't have the best hair. 
No, it's uh, it's kind of like Ring Around the Rosie monk yep. style. Monk style. Yeah. Yep. Mm. As two people who are not attracted to men, as far as I know, uh, right. I think we are both taking the verdict that monk style hair is no good. It's no good. No good. Get rid of it. Put a no. hat on it. Put a hat on it. <laughs> now, on the other hand, Jessica Tandy, she can get it. Can't she? Sure. Let me see. I'll let me. I, I'll, I am all for old women getting some. Okay. You know. Yeah. No, I am too. I I am too. I'm. I might not be the first to volunteer. You know. No. But I'm not saying like <laughs> you have to participate. I'm just saying like in theory. You're, you're gonna make me fuck Jessica Tandy because no, I'll no. do it. <laughs> she, she's she dead. Like, oh, okay. I'm so not gonna make dead. you fuck a corpse. Right. I'm not Tim Burton. But like, I feel like dig her up and drive her around. <laughs> So to speak. Yep. Dig her up and take her out for a spin. Well, let's see if this in this movie, Morgan Freeman digs her up. <laughs> and drives her around. And drives her around. If you know what I mean, on both of those two things. <laughs> yes. Alright. Let's see if he, let's see if he do, takes her out and does donuts in the parking lot. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Way more excited that we we're both going to be drunk instead of just me. Yeah, okay. Sometimes right. it's just me and it's it, it's awkward. Uh, that that is uh, the story. So, uh, okay. so let me. Ask, do you buy these movies or do you illegally steal them? I legally rent them, which is like neither. I- illegally rent them. I legally rent them. Illegally rent them. I oh, okay. legally I spend the money to rent them. But okay, I buy them. that works. There we go. Warner, Warner Brothers, like a cartoon. Here we go. If you are a subtitle person, feel free to request subtitles. Oh, uh, no, I'm fine. All right. I'm, it's not so much that I'm not a subtitle person, I'm not a reading person. Yeah, I get you. <laughs> no, I get you. This is Tandy? Yes, Tandy. There she is. She looks... Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd take a handy from Tandy. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go inside joke right off the bat and say Jessica Tandy is a very short Jamie Schaffner. Mm-hmm. That's... Kind of how and it's I land, was. and that's landing with me. Yeah, fully confirmed. Mm-hmm. What's this lady's story? Uh, she's so it's just another putting a toothbrush on. Some... There should be a whole offshoots cleaning Miss Daisy's silver. I think she got that yeah. offshoot, and I think that movie was called The Help. The Help. That's true. Yeah. They did do that whole. Look at that. Like, they just discovered fonts. And they're... Oh, I forgot Dan Aykroyd's in this. Oh. 80s Dan Aykroyd, too. Not fat Dan Aykroyd. Regular Dan, Dan Aykroyd. Aykroyd. Yeah. Still kind of a fat face, though. Well, yeah. You knew where he was going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You saw that. Okay, so she starts out trying to drive herself. Oh. See? Nine-year-old me didn't remember this very well. She's... Why are you gassing it? Oh, no. <gasps> Not the marigolds. Uh, so what do we look? Looks like a fifties car to me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's just. You know, the only time that's I've, basic incompetence. She just get. She didn't even hit the brake at all. When I was a caddy, I was fourteen years old. I was a golf caddy. You were a golf caddy. Yeah. It was the only job they let you be when you're fourteen. Uh huh. And they put me on the course, and I got. Uh, I was allergic to grass, so my parents are an asshole for making me do this job. <laughs> oh, there goes the car. The car has slipped down. <laughs> um, so I got an asthma attack on the ninth hole, and I had to be taken back to the... Whatever, the golf club house. Right. To get revised. Uh, Patty Lapone uh, from The Sopranos. Mm. Esther Roll from... Uh, that's who we just saw. Esther Roll's from... Good Times and um, the 70 sitcoms. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh huh. Anyway, so after I got revived, they, they wanted to finish their rounds, so we got a golf cart so I wouldn't have to walk on the grass so much. But they made me drive the golf cart and I was 14. And you didn't know? The only thing I'd driven was those little electric cars they give kids right. where you push on the gas to make it go and you take a foot off the gas to make it stop. Right. And I thought that's how it worked. No. I came up to a sand trap, and oh, I no. tried to. I just let my hand off the gas, and I'm not. We're done, right? Yeah. And we just went, like, right. literally flipped into the golf course with a killed, full cart. Almost killed these men. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's There's great. There's Dan Aykroyd. I think that's Esther Roll. Okay. Yeah. 
Good Times, and what's the other one? Um, Wait, so is Dan Aykroyd, is that his mom? Yeah, probably. So Dan Aykroyd plays his son. Mama? No. Son. Yeah, there you go. Mama? No. You know, it's a miracle you're not laying in every hospital, but decked out at the funeral parlor. His southern accent sucks. Yeah, it's summer. really bad. Yes, that's I should. And don't you worry nothing about it, Miss Bird. I might hold on that mind. What way she run me? I remember when I was a little boy, back down there on the farm above Lincoln, where I come from. I used to wrestle hogs to the ground during killing time. And well, son, ain't that hog got away from me yet. All right. So it's gonna wrestle your mom down. Okay, she's slightly smaller than a hog. Slightly smaller. Mm-hmm. Destroys just as much property. <laughs> and just as tasty, honestly. Honestly. Get her in the get back a little seat. tandy candy. <laughs> the back straps called. <laughs> oh, she's already like looking at them like there's a black guy here. Yeah. Oh, just the... There we go. There it is. Can we see silent racism, Jessica? Perfect. Nailed uh, it. Like, if the subtitles weren't, it would have been, like, gestures racistly. Yeah, yeah. Racist sigh. <laughs> oh, Gentleman's Agreement. We just watched that. <laughs> it's about Jewish people. <laughs> Man, they're really, like... It's the Piggly Viggly. <laughs> the Piggly Viggly. Guess where I'm at? I just drove your mama to the stove. Oh, she she flapped around some, but she all right. She in the stove. Oh Lord, she, she just looked out the window and seen me on the phone, so she probably gonna throw a fit right there to check out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you sure right about that? Only took me six days. Same time it took the law to make the world. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, it's all right. Bye now. It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute in its own little. Southern racist Southern way. Southern racist way, yeah. yeah. I'm like actually being charmed by this terrible movie. Yeah. Hey there, Oscar, Junior. How are that boy doing there? How they already been treating you, Hulk? Man, I'll tell you one thing. You know how to throw a fit. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Why, nothing, Miss Daisy. We just carrying them. We're just talking Oscar, shit. Junior, they done my fall painting for 15 years. They never carried on before. You leave them alone. Yes. And put your coat on. We're late. Yes, be right there. Adela, I'm gone now. Yes. I'm right behind Adela. I'm going to start saying bye. Yes. I'm going to start saying bye to people like that. All right, guys, I'm gone now. (laughs) I'm going to start pretending to be progressive, but bossing other races around like I'm still their slave owner. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, no. That. <laughs> you think that's a good idea? I think that's a great idea. Cause, like, I don't think you'll get anything for that. Nah, just <laughs> Tammy's getting away with it. She is. See I, thought, see, I always thought for some reason Miss Daisy was like a younger lady in this movie. Huh. I don't know why I thought, thought that. You thought this was a sexier movie. I did. I thought it was like... The young I thought, Miss Daisy. I thought Miss Daisy was cute. I thought... I thought it was a young Donald Glover. (laughs) Oh, Southern Church. Yeah, seriously. My least favorite part of going to any church at any time ever is that whole expectation of shaking the minister's hand. Yeah, you gotta do the whole handshake. It's like, you know, fuck you, I already listened to you for an hour. Yeah. I said good set and I'm gonna leave. <laughs> exactly. I don't want a photo with you unless you're Rhea Butcher. Right. <laughs> and then I'm and then I'm framing it and, <laughs> and And just writing good set on top of right. it. <laughs> good set. Something wrong back there, Miss Daisy? No. You shit her pants. Something I done? No. There we go. There's the hat. Now yeah, he's got yeah, the hat. Yeah, 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 that's the hat. This is the debut of the hat, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, this beat. Holy shit, get ready. Okay. This is good. 
This be Born on the Fourth of July. Okay. Dead Poet Society. Okay. Field of Dreams. What? And My Left Foot. My Left Foot makes sense. Yeah, but like... Dead Poet Society probably should. Sure. Dead Poets and Field of Dreams are yeah. definitely more like yes. beloved movies at this point. Oh, absolutely. And Born on the Fourth of July, if you're going to throw Oliver Stone a bone... I mean, that's the one. Yeah. Uh, Jessica Tandy won Best Actress. Robin Williams was nominated for Best Actor. Oh, okay. Oh my god, Daniel Day-Lewis won for My Left Foot. Uh, Beating out Kenneth Branagh, Tom Cruise, Morgan Freeman, and Robin Williams. Holy shit. That's a fuck of a year. Denzel won Best uh, Supporting for Glory. Nice. Nice. Dan Aykroyd. Holy fucking shit. Dan Aykroyd was nominated for an Academy Award for this. That's insane. For Best Supporting Actor. How? I don't understand yet. Maybe he cries later. He's got to cry later. He better cry hard. He better evoke some type of emotion. <laughs> Wait, are they friends now? Did I miss something while I was looking up Academy Awards? No, I don't think they're friends, but I think she's... But what's the matter? She's, oh, not, 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 not. she's putting up with them? Putting up with them because he bought her the salmon. Okay. That he ate. Oh, he can't read nah. Hebrew? Nah, but Daisy, you, you I told you, it's two rows over that way. Oh. I don't, I don't think he can wow. read. Yeah. Now, what does that look like? Talking about I can't read, man. Oh, shit. Is it that kind of movie? Bye. Now she's just being a bitch. No, she's just a bitch. Mm-hmm. Seems like she's just a bitch to everybody. It's not nice to anybody. Mm-mm. I don't even think it's a race thing. <laughs> mean to her son. Is she, like, a better person now? Because she's just Maybe. a bitch to everybody? Maybe. Possibly. She's like the... I don't know. Don Rickles of people. Sure. She's just roasting him. No, right. Turn left. What's this fun time montage? That's still know. a racist situation that's set up. <laughs> They're going to Vegas, and he's going to use her bitchiness to win at cards. Yep. He's going <laughs> to exploit her. <laughs> We're in a Cadillac now? Mm-hmm. Man, people like shots of wheat fields back then. Mm-hmm. I bet whatever racist thing happens while they're in Alabama. Of course. You can't go to Alabama without something racist happening. Mm-hmm. Nobody expects Alabama to look like much, dude. Yeah. Wow, Kevin Spacey was good back then. <laughs> oh! Another piece! Not the peas. Oh, Idella's dead? That's like the... She just went to church. That's the biggest thing that ever happened. Seriously. This movie. That character with two lines. Mm-hmm. That's a little extra on the choir. It's, um... Some 80s makeup for the 50s, that's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. 
I don't think they did that kind of shimmery blush in the 50s. It's just me. Damn, Miss Daisy outlived Idella. <laughs> Fuck you, Miss Daisy. <laughs> you That's bitch. not cool. They got the communist flag draped over the pulpit. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. It's God. Yeah. yeah. God says, fuck the rich people. Okay. See what I mean? Like she's got like that iridescent eyeshadow. Yeah. That's not very 50s. It's not. Very nice. Miss Daisy's just like, I'm still Jewish. I'm still very Jewish. Fuck these Christians. Damn, she's frying her own chicken now. Mm Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Frying Miss Daisy. (laughs) Frying Miss Daisy. You got the chicken too close together there. And the fire's way too high. Mind your business. I guess we're probably going to see her right now. Oh. Yeah. She's going to look great. You know that thing that hangs out on Jabba the Hutt's tail? Yep, that's exactly what it's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> Played by Jessica Tandy. Oh, yeah. I had those elementary school decorations for mm-hmm. Thanksgiving. A little turkey, a little cartoon turkey. A little couple of leaves floating around on the wall. A little cornucopias. <laughs> Shitty bouquet of flowers. Oh, there she is. Well, she didn't put any weight on. Thanksgiving, Mama. Look who I brought. Morning, Miss Daisy. You been keeping yourself busy? She certainly has. She goes to jewelry mate. How many times a week? She makes all kinds of things. Pins, bracelets. All right. She's a regular Tiffany's. Ain't that something? <laughs> Is this what a movie about the patheticness uh-huh. of old age? <clears throat> Folk, I thought of you the other morning on the expressway. Yes? I saw an Avondale milk truck. Yes, I did. A big monster of a thing. Must have had about 16 wheels. Two old wheels, yes. Yeah, I wondered how you might like driving that thing around. Folks came to see me, not you. Ah, fuck off. Oh. I wanted a good day. Mama Florine asked me to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. She's in Washington, you know. Remember, Mama, she's a Republican National Committee woman now. Good God. <laughs> <laughs> she wants you all to herself. You're a doodle, Mama. I'm trying to finally fuck Hope. <laughs> well, she's dried up, but good luck with it. Is it great if this just ended in a murder suicide? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> just a pack that they. <laughs> Fucking terrible, but I love it. <laughs> How much? That's between him and me. Highway robbery. Ah, oh, shit. This is going to be the first movie on this podcast to make me cry, isn't it? Oh, he's feeding her the pie? God damn it. There it is. <laughs> And she just goes, the, Got Puerto- it. <laughs> the Puerto Ricans that work here are stealing my jewelry. <laughs> God damn it, Daisy. <coughs> I hate uh, that this is working. Yeah. Like, you can see everything coming a mile away, and it's still like. Oh, she fucking does. <laughs> oh, she. He feeds her pie, and then it's a montage of them driving. Oh, God. Yeah, they did. They dip back to the Hudson. Because, see, you know what? 
blacks and Jews got along all the whole time. Right. That's the lesson of this movie. Is it they, over? That's it? That's it. That's it. That's how it goes. Well, then, at least it didn't fucking dawdle. How did this win, though? I know, but it didn't waste any time. It's true. It didn't stretch know. on. No. All right. Let me get this set up. That, that was... That's a short movie for... Yeah. A Best Picture winner, anyway, at least. Uh, well, look. I mean... I don't want to like this. I Yeah. But I don't I, know. It was charming. It was charming, but it was like there's conf, there's it's conflicting at times. It's you kind of don't know. You want to say it's one thing, and then it's not exactly that. You know what it is? This is like when you're flip on the radio, and you're going through radio stations, mm-hmm. and you hear like some shitty song from the '80s, like "Take Me Home" by Phil Collins. Sure. And you're like, oh god, it's. Phil this, Collins. I can't, yeah. Yeah, and you listen to the lyrics and it's just, take me home, take me home, take me home, take mm-hmm. me home. What the fuck is this? Mm-hmm. And by the end, you're like, God damn, that's a good song. It's a great song. By the end of it, <laughs> you're singing. By the end of it, you're telling your black chauffeur to turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yeah, right? You're enjoying it. This is just candy for white guilt. This is just white guilt candy. Mm-hmm. And it works and it sucks. Yeah. And I hate it. Yeah, I don't know. I get it. Oh, I don't know. It's weird when a movie spans that many years because it's like, <laughs> there was definitely some racist outbursts in there that they did not, <laughs> you know? They literally got pulled over by cops in Alabama. That was like the most, isn't that, so that was like the most, uh, well, I guess. That was the only racism well, overt, overt racism in the movie. Right. Well, then the Jewish temple got firebombed, but she didn't even see it, so. And that, yeah, that was just, she didn't even believe it, so like, you know, it you didn't know. really happen. Right. Uh. Oh, yeah, the only, like, overt racism in the movie is that those Alabama cops pull them over and then, like, talk about them behind their backs in a racist way. Right. Not even to their face. Not even to their face. Which Just was not them... period appropriate. No. <laughs> it seems like they would have done it to their face. Uh, the time. Yeah. Also, I mean, I don't know. It just feels like the Morgan Freeman character is just, like, way too... You go with the flow of infantile. What well, he he worked for him for just the, the whole thing is he thirty just, years maybe? Yeah, and he just kept buying her old cars and getting the hand me downs. It was like an indentured servitude mm-hmm. that was meant to be heartwarming, and it's played as if he was enjoying. It's this is the good slave. It's a good slave narrative. It totally is, and I hate to say that because. Obviously, this movie's not about slavery, and they show, they make a big deal about showing a scene where Morgan Freeman asks for and gets a substantial raise. Yes, to $75 a week. <laughs> well, I mean, that's you know, true. $60. That's, that's $60, yes. Probably. $10 a week raise back then is yes. like, you know, a couple thou. Yeah. That's a, that's a reasonable raise. That's it's a, a good reasonable raise. raise. Yeah, but Definitely I mean, still getting paid less than the white drivers, probably. Right. I'm sure. Yes. Look, I'm not getting into the economics of it. I'm just going to say, mm-hmm. clearly he was not a slave. He Clear, was an yes. employee and he was treated fairly yes. and justly by his employer throughout the movie as an employee. However, emotionally, yes, it felt like we were getting conned into a good slave narrative. It Yes. Emotionally was definitely that. Like, also, like we were getting tricked into being like, oh, that's so sweet that he was completely subservient to her her whole life. Right, even when she was a real bitch and he'd like stand up to her but in a way that was like an enabling, like almost like a family member. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's yeah. I would I just wanted to see that last scene where he's feeding her pie and then he's like I got you now, you bitch. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> you can't even pick up a fork. Yeah, and he like loads the pie up with cyanide. Maybe Man, that's just, what happens the just, minute it yeah. cuts the credits. Or or she she just goes, kill me, ho. Kill me. I, I can't. I don't want to be here anymore. And then he out of... Out, out of, of compassion. And kills her, yes. Yeah. yeah, and then like Dan Aykroyd Smothers comes her back with the and pie. is like, what the fuck? <laughs> the fuck? Oh, I knew I couldn't trust one of you. 
Yeah. Like some, <laughs> like, no, 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 it just gets a, just yeah. like some racist diatribe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's a slight movie. Yes. Dan Aykroyd got nominated for Best Supporting Actor. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. He's got the one of the worst Southern accents. It's, it's like all over the place. It's not even the accent. He's just not a Southerner. It's yeah. wrong. It is, it is wrong, wrong to watch him try to be a Georgian. Yeah. When that... he's clearly from Chicago or maybe Toronto. Right. That's about his range. I, I, Great Lakes. I will say Jessica Tandy killed it. Oh, no, she's great. She killed it. Yep. Yeah, her winning Best Actress, no problems. Mm-hmm. She was amazing. Uh, feisty, but like human. She's yeah. great. And she aged the most. Yes. Uh, believably of yeah. anybody in the movie. Like Morgan Freeman had to start. Morgan Freeman overacted his ass off in this movie. I'm he sorry. He kind of really did. He kind of really turned it up as far as. Hunching over and mm-hmm. shucking and jiving, and his mm-hmm. accent was layered on thick. Super thick. But I don't know. I thought he did. I thought he did decently. I think Dan Aykroyd was the fucking the the, the problem. The problem of this movie. I agree. He was absolutely the worst one. Like Morgan Freeman and Jessica Tandy, that last scene where they're he's feeding her pie. I'm like, all right. Yeah, that was cute. It's it cute. It was earned. It was. He wasn't terrible. He got nominated too, but he got beat by uh, Daniel Day Lewis because that's how w- the world works. Um, mm-hmm. But we're and it's a movie where dang, that movie that beat them was or my Daniel, left foot. So yeah, in that movie, Daniel Day Lewis plays like a clubbed foot man. Yes. Okay. Who is allowed to fall in love with a woman, and therefore, wow. Yeah. I I haven't seen the movie, but that's all I know about it. Also, this year... Okay, this particular year was a year of cheesy movies. Let's give it that. Driving Miss Daisy, a cheesy movie. Mm -hmm. Other Best Picture nominees, Born on the Fourth of July. Uh, Oliver Stone's arguably cheesiest movie. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dead Poet Society, cheesy movie. Cheesy movie. Field of Dreams. The cheesiest. Full of cheese. And then My Left Foot... Uh, Oscar bait disabled person cheese. Yes, exactly. Right? Yes, this cheese is retarded. That's even looking at best. <laughs> even looking at best director, it's the same movies plus Woody Allen. Fuck you, uh, crimes uh, and misdemeanors, uh, and then Henry V by Kenneth Branagh, which is like a cheesy kind of choice to make. Okay, but I mean, but even though these movies are all cheesy, they are all. You know these movies. Right. Even though it's been 30 years. These are all well-known, good movies. So, why did Driving Miss Daisy come out on top? Is it that white guilt? I'm sure it is. Treacle? Because none of those movies had that element. That's true. Denzel won Best Supporting. For... For Glory. Glory. Which definitely had that in it. Yes. Yes. You know, it's got that famous scene where uh, Ferris Bueller gets yelled at. Yes. Um, Glory is a genuinely riveting movie. Um, and it's weird that it wasn't nominated for anything besides Best Supporting Actor. Honestly. Yeah. So this year, we had Black Panther and yes. we had Black Klansman. Yes. Not, both nominated for Best Picture, much less the fact that those both of those movies were nominated for several categories. Yes. And Green Book fucking won. I right. feel like 1989 gave us a preview of that with Driving Miss Daisy winning when Glory was sitting out there. Right. You know? A movie That's about true. actual African American history and actual racism being confronted and overcome in a fraught time with high stakes. This movie's stakes are basically... Uh, these, this mean lady and this yeah. nice man became friends. That's all it is. Yeah, there's no, like, real, yeah, there's no real high stakes. And, a, not, and a cast member of Saturday Night Live was It's like, there. they get pulled over, or the cops pull up on them, and then nothing. They're that, wearing menacing hats? Yeah. Those flat-brimmed hats Those really flat, scare me. Yeah, that's about it. That's about it. Interesting. Dan Aykroyd has a weird scene where he's framed in six mirrors 
talking about how he can't go to a Martin Luther King event because he might right lose his business. People are going to get their cotton elsewhere. But it's not played like he's a bad person. It's actually played like he's a good person. Which is It makes weird. a lot of sense. Weird. Which is, yes. I, that was a weird, a weird thing where they like, like, yeah. They like really wrote it to be like, yeah, Dan Aykroyd's not a bad guy. He just doesn't want to be associated with Martin Luther King because of his <laughs> business. And it's like, well, that's pretty shitty. Yeah. Dan Aykroyd's not a fascist. He no. just wants to make sure that the fascists still like him at the end of the day. Right. And then they end that scene with him suggesting that his mom bring Morgan Freeman with her to the party. And she doesn't. She doesn't do it. Do it. Like, because. I thought that was going to be a big scene. Yeah. And he even says, like, not that much has changed. And she's like, whatever. And then he's just, I guess you're right. I guess you're right. And then the last scene is him feeding her pie. So really nothing really does. Nothing changes. That might be the most racist scene in the movie. Not the cops pulling him no, out of Alabama. None of it. None of it. But Jessica Tandy being like, well, I can't eat with you at Martin Luther King Jr.'s yes. event. Yes. I'm going to sit alone. And she looks wistfully at a chair like it's not her fucking fault. Oh my God, I'm so drunk. Oh. What? I mean, I'm getting there. <laughs> Zach, I hate racism as well, much sure. as anybody. Absolutely. And I watch a lot of these movies mm-hmm. where they say racism is bad and then somehow the movie still comes across as racist. Right. What are we doing wrong? I think it's... I, th- I don't know. I think... <laughs> I think they should just... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Dan Aykroyd shouldn't comment on it at all. <laughs> maybe that that would help. Yeah? I don't know. It's Why not... did we need to inv- involve Dan Aykroyd? That's true. There are so many other Saturday Night Live cast members who would have been... It would be great if it was just Chris Farley. <laughs> <laughs> or Mike Myers. Like, Mike for Myers no reason. Mike would have been good. Yeah, just making funny faces and acting like he's four feet tall instead of five feet tall. Mm-hmm. That's the Mike Myers trick. <laughs> hey, guys, have you ever noticed? When Mike Myers wants to look funny, he just gets shorter. He just gets real short. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, every time. It makes sense. It's a good bit. It's a good move. It's a good move. Because, like, I'm not that short, but look at me. I'm short. Look at me. I'm short now. I think that's... That's what bothers me about this movie, is that it looks like, I'm not that racist, but look at me, I'm pretending to be racist, but you yeah, know I'm not. But I'm really not, don't think I am. But we'll think I am, but then I'm going to show you that I'm not, but I'm really not showing you that I'm not. I, right. I'm, and my main way of showing I'm, you I'm not racist is by not showing any racism. Right. See? See? That movie was easy to digest. There was almost no racism in it. Yeah. One cop said the N-word and didn't actually kill anybody. Yeah. <laughs> Nope. Yeah, when it's... I don't know. It's just weird that it spanned that much time and there was no, like, real eventful things that happened in it. My God, we went from 1952 to, like, easily somewhere in the 1970s. And, yes. like... Like, nothing really happened. In the Deep South. Yeah. Atlanta and Montgomery, Alabama. Just the only thing that happened is, like, some, like you know, the other worker died which, which of of watching soap operas yes not of racism right no just watching <laughs> soap operas and then peeling peas and then like they all go to watch her because th- the white people watch her funeral because they're nice <laughs> well, which is fine but like that's not really the, period the end of racism <laughs> they try to make it seem like it is <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it's kind of frustrating the more I think about it. There Just are, that nothing really happened. There are more nuanced um, scenes about the difficulty of surviving as a Jewish person and Jewish Persian. Persian. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't lying. I'm tipsy. <laughs> a Jewish person in the Deep South in the 1950s between the bombing of the synagogue and the, like, the weirdly over-the-top Christmas celebrations yes. and the Dan Aykroyd scene. It's really a lot more because he talks about how there's some of those New York Jews that people... Oh, yeah. Them. 
it's more of a movie about anti-Semitism than it is about racism. Yeah, well, which is also counts as racism, right? No, I mean, which is fine. <laughs> I'm not saying that's not an issue. It's just right. It's just weird. Not, it's just not what you would expect. It's just weird in a movie where the plot is a black guy drives a white girl around in the deep south in the 1960s, right? To be like, and the point is anti-Semitism. Yeah, and she had a rough time because she's Jewish, and it's like, well, <laughs> but that, but, the, but that's that doesn't seem like the whole story there. <laughs> it's so weird. I don't know, but the thing is, we're complaining, right? Right. But I liked it. Yeah, I still enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel, I feel really terrible about that. I like the little cheesy into it. It's a nice little. Oh I don't know. my god, they're so it was sweet. easy to watch. Yeah. It, it is. It's like a, a special episode of a sitcom. Yeah. You know, you're like. Well, this is obviously on its surface, stupid and artificial and dumb. Right. But look at the characters. They're having real emotions They're instead of just making great time. Terms. Yeah. They're eating pie. <laughs> They're eating pie together. <laughs> because they couldn't, because Morgan Freeman never ate the pie, you know, like. It, it was not, there wasn't even any sexual tension. I was hoping for some of that and. Uh, yeah, there was zero of that. Ooh. I had nobody fucked in this movie at all. No, no, not even like the people, not even Dan Aykroyd because he didn't have kids, right? No, yeah, he didn't fuck. Literally didn't fuck. I think, yeah, that's a that's a subtle thing that wasn't really said. Dan Aykroyd seems to be sterile in this movie, but because <laughs> his hairline keeps receding, so it keeps like... receding. So and then, you know, he you see that he's got a wife, so it is like he's fucking, but. I mean, in, like, legal theory. Right. But he's yeah. not wrapping it up every time. No way. He's a married man. And so, right. it's probably... Rich? Because he was also like, oh, I'm not worried about it. When Morgan Freeman was like, oh, you're still young. You can have kids. He's like, nope. Yeah. How... Okay, I think that, that speaks for the whole movie. We're watching a movie about um, men and women bonding. Mm-hmm. Who are roughly the same age. Close enough. Mm-hmm. Plus a married couple, and there's no sexual. Anything. There's nothing. If this is Zero. the least sexy movie, yes, I think I've ever seen. Yes, no one has ever jerked off to this movie. <laughs> there's just no possible way. If you, the listener at home, have ever jerked off to Driving Miss Daisy, mm-hmm. please send me a note explaining yes. not only why and but when and how. <laughs> now because none of the, there's nothing mm-mm. it's about as sexy as like Phil Collins take me home there it keep is keep going back yep. to it yeah yep. it's about that shit Zach Brooks yes thank you for watching this movie thank you for having me for the first time yes I I how do you feel are you okay I'm okay. I'm, I was kind of like, I, it was pleasant. <laughs> I expected it to be much more than pleasant, but it was just pleasant. Nothing, oh God, it's so rare that movies exceed our expectations. Mm-hmm. And I'm upset about that. I think that's the theme that's emerging from this entire project. Yeah. Is I'm really angry that movies have a hard time living up to the promise of movies. It's true. There's so many... How can people... What's your next thing? Um, oh. Where, where um, can they see you? Uh, we'll be doing um, Peep Show at Spider House every second and fourth Thursday. Ooh. Yeah. That's fantastic. I have had the pleasure of doing a Peep Show show before. Do you want to explain the... Th- yeah. Yeah. It's like a Mystery Science Theater, but for vintage porn. <laughs> That is exactly accurate. Yep. It's a lot of watching censored. I have to censor it, kind of. Kind yeah. of. Um, like, these days it wouldn't be considered censored. It would be considered heavily censored from, like, the 80s and 90s. But now it's, like, a, quite a bit is shown, just like... The, right. Yeah, we show a lot. The the final diddly diddlies. Yes. Don't get shown. Yes, yeah. And you have some uh, protection on staff 
from anybody who arrives to watch the show just for diddly yes, diddling? Yes. Uh, we have um, Officer Nick Severin of the Boner Police there. Yeah. To uh, make sure everybody keeps it in the pants. I need to have Nick on soon. If you aren't aware of Nick Saverino, just know that mm-hmm. if you were thinking about having a boner and Nick Saverino showed up... He'll chop it right off. He will fix it for you. He'll zip tie it to your thigh. <laughs> <laughs> Which, honestly, that's... I, I think I've heard you say that before, mm-hmm. and I always had the same thought, which is, that sounds kind of hot. Yeah, it's like you have you, a... Yep. There's a bondage element to having a boner zip tied to your thigh. That's true. That's true. I'm I'm back now. I think driving Miss Daisy took away my libido, <laughs> and the concept of Nick Savarino zip tying a boner to a thigh. That's bringing you back. That's what brought you back. I'm ready to fuck yeah. again. I wonder if anybody anybody went home and fucked after they saw this movie. I can't imagine anybody did. No, no. When in they, fact, in theaters, they just. This movie might have been an attempt to uh, save the AIDS crisis. I don't know. Who I knows? don't know what it was about, but it's not good. <laughs> okay, thanks for listening. We'll be back next week with another classic of the American cinema, which is no longer impressive, but at some point it impressed somebody. <laughs> Good night. Good night.